Welcome Cougar fans to Moorhead Stadium in Conroe, where your number one ranked four-time state champion Lamar Cougars face the defending state champion. We're looking at Wayne Daniels. He is a hoss. He is the real deal. And then number 32, uh, Eddie Jones for uh, Kilgore is also on that other end. And boy, you talk about a chore today. Let's get those teams. Another bone of contention this week is the Cougars. And you, and you know what I like? Putting Oscar Perez up here in the middle as a short man in case they don't want to kick deep to those guys. Because we've seen him the last few weeks make things happen. There he is. Perez feels the ball. And he hands it off. It's going to be wide open field. Lawrence Owens has got two men to beat. Makes a move at the 50. And across midfield, Cougars will have excellent starting field position as they cross over into Kig Kilgore territory. They'll line up first and 10 from the Kilgore 42-yard line. Jack, you just mentioned it, Oscar Perez. He's the one that created that play. And back. So uh, a good choice there. Here we are, first and 10. Michael Ray back in the lineup for the Cougars this week after injury. Castile takes the ball on his own. He's got running room. First down, turns the corner inside the 30 to the 20. Down the sideline, and he steps out of bounds. LJ Castile on first down. Taylor Wilkins has been very solid on the year. Snap is down, kick is up. It looks like it's got the distance, and it is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plenty, Taylor plenty Wilkins, of distance. Plenty of distance on that one as the Cougars strike first. 9.24 left in the first quarter. Cougs up three to nothing. This is your Coug Sports Net. We'll be right back. I think uh, an elusive, aloofness that uh, um, adds to his ability to make yardage. Handoff up the middle, and Perez is going to break it for a first down and run over a man. Look at Perez. Look at Oscar. Perez putting his head down for Look at Oscar. up the middle. He is an Oscar Meyer. He's hot dogging. <laughs> the big O. The big O. I, I love tell it. You. Well, I don't know. I, I, this match was on the, on the receiving pattern back there with the defensive back end. I'm not so sure that I wouldn't start going to the air a little bit now. Can still fakes the handoff, and he will. It's a fade pass to Jerry Perry. He makes a catch. Oh, They're going to roll. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cougar. That's what I'm talking Woo! about. Jerry That's what I'm talking the about. Back That's there. what I'm Excellent. talking about. I had to wait a second. I wasn't sure he was going to go. LJ Castile put the ball right on the money. Corner of the end zone. Jerry Perry comes up with it, and your Cougars go up nine to nothing, pending the extra point. I'm telling you, I think there's some mis mismatches down there. I'm, I'm serious. I think they just took advantage of one of them. Well, you hear some air horns out there, Jack, but doesn't sound like it's the bullhorn from the Kilgore sideline. I don't think that's a bulldog bullhorn. <laughs> Taylor Wilkins will line up here for the kick. Urkiaga to Turner on the snap and the hold. It's down, the kick is up, and it's going to be good. So with eight minutes even left in the second quarter, your Lamar Cougars extend their lead to 10-0. This is your Coug Sports Net. We'll be right back. Anything they can find to stop this Kilgore scoring threat. Now look for that. Kilgore look for them roll out with the tight yeah, end. They spread the field out here. And the ball's going to be tossed up. Intercepted by the ball hog. James Thomas has got running room. He's all the way out to the 10. He's going to be dragged down there. James Thomas looked to have some running room. That's why he took it out of the end zone. But he was able to be brought down at the 10-yard line. Big play by the Cougar defense. James team. Thomas yeah, has shown the grit and determination at this point. So the Cougars will line up here. And Sheffield gets the carry. It's going to be fumbled. Ball is down. And Lamar scrambling for it. Ball is down. It's going to be recovered by your Lamar Cougars. The Cougars have it at the 20-yard line. Big play, James Thomas. Came up with the interception in the end zone on the last drive. Forced a big fumble by Jared Sheffield that time. And the Cougars pounce on it. Who was it, Cardell? Was it Cardell Sanderson? Cardell Sanderson, Cardell Sanderson and Marlon Pouncey were scrambling around him and putting this ball in the end zone. LJ Castile under center. Hands it off to, Lawrence, or to Oscar Perez. Touchdown, Cougars! The Cougars go on top with six what minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Oscar Perez to find the open hole there. Oscar and a Perez. good charge and surge by that right side of the line. The big O lines up behind the wall, and the big wall just walks him right into the end zone. Cougars, you're right. This is kind of Lamarck's <laughs> magical kingdom Disneyland finishes, and uh, you know, is this up, is. And the kick is going to be good. Your Cougars take the lead. Time to play, guys. Six minutes and 20 seconds, but you got to feel comfortable with your Cougars back on top. 17 to 14. We'll take a timeout. This is your Cougs. 8 for Kilgore. 
fakes the handoff, looking for a man. He's gonna have pressure. Ah. Uh. spins away from one man, trying to get away from another. It blows loose. It's gonna be picked up. Leonard Floyd is gonna go in for the touchdown. Lamar Cooper's up. <laughs> 23 to 14. Oh, oh, baby. What I told you, that was the play you're looking for. Backside pressure. Fisher is down in agony as he fumbles the ball away and Bam Bam dines the man on the spot, Johnny on the spot, able to scoop it up and walk it in the end zone. Cougars up 23 to 14 with 5.51 remaining in this game, Jack. Defense coming up with their third consecutive big play here as Taylor Wilkins lines up for the extra point. Kick is up and it's gonna be good with 5.51 remaining here in Conroe. Your Lamar Cougars have turned the tables. They are now up 24 to 14. This is your Cougs Sports Net. Third down and long. Richard Jones trying to apply the pressure. Chase Fisher gets away a pass, and it's going to be way over the head and intercepted. Number 10, Russell Hall for the Lamar Cougars comes up with the fourth consecutive big play for this Cougar defense. Four turnovers, four possessions, four turnovers in a row. Your Lamar Cougar defense is stepping up. Well. It's a battle of two champions. Champion of 03 trying to dethrone the champion of 04. Boy, it couldn't get much better than this. 154, Kilgore has just scored, making it 21. Lamarck is still holding the lead at 24-21. Well, right here, Lamarck is going to have to be. Once he gets the official signal, he'll be ready to set it into play. Kick is made, it's a bounce. He's gonna bumble around, Lamarck's gonna recover. Woo! Bounced off Man, of the Lamarck receiver good. initially. It looked like he was able to get on it, and he did. Lamarck will take over here. They'll have the ball first down in the backfield with Castile. They're going to have two up backs, flankers, and then one spread wide. And Jared Perry, big third down. And oh. Castile's going to catch him off sides, and the ball is thrown up and caught by Jared Perry. He's going to keep going. That's going to be a touchdown, Cougar, and that's going to be the ball game, folks. Big play by your Is that a good play? Is that a good play? We'll see if the ball was blown dead. That ball wasn't blown dead. Unless there was a whistle blown, and it's hard for us to tell up here. It's hard for us to tell. If the whistle's blown, they're not going to give it to us. That ball wasn't blown dead. The ball was thrown up after the offsides. One way or the other, it's going to be a good result for the Mark Cougars. Offsides on Cougars. Decline. Touchdown, Cougars. Yes, baby. That's it. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. And that's going to be... The ball game here, the Cougars are gonna lock this thing up. Press? Jared Perry on the reception. Wow. Everyone had stopped except for the defender and Jared Perry. And Jared Perry won the Taylor Woo. Wilkins in to attempt the extra point, the icing on the cake. And Mr. Automatic puts it through the new score with 51 seconds left in this ball game and Kilgore season. Lamar Cougars 31, Kilgore 21. This is your Coug Sports Net. We'll be right back. Joseph yeah, McDonald Joseph had a great game. I agree. So we're going to put Joseph McDonald as well. So let's review that again one more time. Number four, Jared Perry. Number 21, Oscar Perez on offense. The entire MVPs of the game, the special teams on the punt, the, the kickoff. I mean, everything they did all night long was almost to perfection. Defense, number 22, James Thomas. And then we had uh, James Thomas, number two, guys. Joseph, Joseph McDonald. McDonald. Joseph McDonald, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry about that, Joseph. Over